I think we should be professional. I've been, I've been arguing for a long time about you know, that we should try to professionalise this, this company that we're in. If we don't take ourselves seriously and if we don't, um, if we don't dress the part, then you know, no one else is going to take us seriously. No, it is you. Of course it's me. Then what do you do? I'm just walking. Just walking? He has made comparisons between himself and Daniel Craig, and now Daniel Craig is leaving the role. Des has suggested, privately to me, I don't think he's gone public on it, that uh, he has ambitions. Are you going anywhere special? I'm uh, going to the gala. You're not going like that, are you? Stuart's got his own ideas about dress codes, or lack of them. Um, Stuart, Stuart thinks it's clever to look scruffy. I'm never knowingly overdressed myself, but uh, Des has a capacity for uh, fine tailoring, uh, which I, I must admit I, d I don't possess. It's better to be authentic and natural. No, why, 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 why on about? earth would you dress up? No, it's our event. No. It's our... No, no, but we've got to do it properly. We can't be going half measures. And I, obviously, I, I, my eyes were a little bit um, sore that day, so I, I, it was sensible to wear shades just to protect them. I mean, I don't, the last thing I need is damaged eyes just before the gala. We were in London in November, so the sunglasses were redundant, but were, as I understood it, part of a look he was trying to uh, carry off. You, you, need to, you need to take necessary precautions. I mean, as, as you often see James Bond does. Not that I'm saying he's my role model, I'm just saying that he, he's very sensible with things like that. With all the other risks that he takes, he, he does protect his, his eyes quite well. <laughs> <laughs> What does the future look like? Future, I think the future is good. I think we've got a really good team at the moment, um, and I think um, we need to build on that and try and scale this thing and take it to the, take it to the potential that it's really got. But it is a bit like this river. What sort of muddy and muddy and brown? But it's heading towards the sea. Yeah, it is heading and towards the, the sea. And the sea is scale. Yeah, in theory, we've got access to the best minds in management. They really should be able to help us navigate this river Run our own all business. the way to the sea. <laughs> I think the future of the Thinkers 50 really is the community. Thinkers 50 started as a competition and has evolved into a community, not through any great uh, strategy or insight on our behalf, but through years of building relationships with, with the Thinkers and the mutual trust we've, bought, we've built with them. In a journalistic way, we were trying to create a, 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 an order and almost pit people against each other. Um, and actually what's happened is people have turned, turned that around and it's become people are very supportive of each other. We know, we've worked in the academic world enough with coaching at business schools to know that it's, it is quite competitive. You, know, you wouldn't think that academia would be as an outsider, but actually um, it can be very competitive. And I think Thinkers 50 is something different, it's a different sort of space. So from 2021, we'll only rank the top 10 thinkers and the others will be simply members of the Thinkers 50 community. And I think that's a strong message that um, it doesn't really matter if you're 37th in the Thinkers 50. What is important is that you're part of the community and are willing to take part in that and share knowledge. It's about the community, it's all about the community now. That's the thing to build on for the future. Dealer. That's the way it all no, works. No, 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 it goes alphabetically, it goes Des Stuart. No, D no, is no. before S. No, you think D, of the is great double D is always before S. Think of the great double X. Laurel and Hardy? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we thought we were at a very interesting moment after the 2019 gala. I think we thought we were poised and ready to begin to really scale what we'd got. But of course, then the pandemic happened, which forced us really to, to pivot quite dramatically. We are now much more digitally enabled, if you like, which I think was probably one of the building blocks for what we need to do next. I think the future will, all, will be hybrid events where there's a virtual event and a real event, and nothing can really replace the power of being in the same room with people. But the virtual event we've designed and developed, we think, is a very powerful combination of access to the world's greatest minds and exclusive insights into their latest thinking.
It's been 20 years, I mean the time's flown by, but we, we're very much wanting to see, see the 20 years as a milestone, but not a millstone. It's 20 years, it's time to shake it up, it's time to refresh, it's time to reinvent Thinkers 50, move in a different direction and, and really try to leverage the goodwill that exists within the community. So I'm excited.